Welcome to episode 251. Phil, it should have been my camera. Thank you. Episode 251 of a Cigar Hustler podcast. The Halloween edition. Halloween. No, that's how you normally dress. Yes, I always would just... It's yeah, under my clothes normally. Yeah. Super wiener. Super wiener. Super wiener. I had the toothpick in. The toothpick. Yeah, the toothpick. Need the smoke. You too. you too can be part of our podcast family by investing in our show or any of the shows on the Hustler Universe Podcast Network. Put your products in front of thousands of listeners every week on 13 different podcast providers all around the world. All you have to do is email me, a wiener. Mike at, at Mike, Mike and Mike at Mike and Mike for pricing and more information. And please remember to rate, review, subscribe, whichever you uh, providers you use. And rip. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. You're going to the train station. God damn it. Feels a little slow on the draw over there. Slow, slow on the draw. Feels a little slow on the draw. So how's football, Mike? Give us so a football update. You're a lovely hot dog. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm a BDW. BD. Or BWP? Big Wiener Palmer. Big Wiener Palmer. Big but Wiener it says Palmer. BDP on the side. Right, but well, you know. Uh, how was football? Football is good, man. You know, uh, well, we, we need. Well, what we really want to know is the points. Where are you at with the points? Are you uh, <coughs> you behind? Or? That's Patreon. We still I still haven't talked. Confused. About. There, there's been no well, interaction. We, I, I will tell you right now. There's been no interaction. Oh, just to, at all, just no. to leave it at that. Oh. So there are no points. No, the scoreboard is still the same. This is. Very, if you want to know what we're talking about, you have to link into the Patreon. It's very warm. Mm-hmm. It looks it looks meaty. Oh, thank you. I'm an all beef hot dog. Mm. Yes. You're not kosher. No, not even close. <laughs> not even close. Not halal either. We had a uh, Halloween party at uh, at Phil's house. At Phil's house. Yes, we yeah. did this past weekend. And These we told, are... and we told Phil. Yes. We said, "Hey, everybody, let's wear costumes. Wear costumes to yeah. the show on Monday." Yeah. Phil doesn't have and this a son of a bitch is not in his no, costume. Not in his costume. No. So now every time he's on, though, he will have to wear what he has on now. Every that is week. that is going to be his standard his punishment. Phil. No, that is oh. Phil. That is what Phil looks like. That's okay. Where's my camera? We'll work on that for next week, Phil. <laughs> they don't need a whole hour of just you, which is I'm you have the credit what, card, bro. Afraid what? Well, we have another camera. Oh, do we? Yeah, we have another camera over there. We can oh. set up a fourth camera. Oh, yeah, we, we should definitely do that. Well, we talked about it. For some reason, your wife wants Phil to have his own camera. Yes. Why? What is that? Phil needs a camera. I feel though there'll be two hours of Phil or an hour of Phil nah, each week. Yeah, it won't be that. Yeah, bad. listen to the know. listeners. In a minute, he'll he'll be asleep. The viewers. Yeah, let the viewers. The viewers. Let the viewers speak. It's so, one viewer, by the way, just <clears> one. So I so I I am now like a guest on the sports show for guessing of the football teams. Oh, what do you call in every week? No, he calls me. I don't. Oh, call, now he yeah, even calls yeah, you. He calls me. Oh, so are you are you the new JJ? Uh, no, JJ's still there. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. You know, I so maybe it's, you're, you're the gradually making the transition. It's funny because I'm like uh, JJ to white Michael. <laughs> I am. I'm nailing it as far as like oh, guessing, guessing, guessing who's going to win. Yeah. Oh, is that what they do every week? They yeah. Guess? JJ is fucking way off. Yeah, he's a Republican. What do you want? <laughs> so is that how that works? Yeah, they're not good on sports. Really? Yes. Interesting. It's well, independents like you, Michael, that know everything. But you know what's really kind of funny is you know what's funny? It's hot dog suit is warm. <laughs> that is funny. Ah. Oh. It when, wasn't Saturday night. So when Boots yes, makes Boots his pick, show. yes, he always has something fucking like he always has to end off with like this weird saying about whoever's picking or whatever, whatever team he's. Oh, playing. like he's got like a little call thing. Like it's he? it's supposed to be like an in depth, like it's supposed to be interesting. Yeah, some kind of factual based. Oh, it's statement. not the same thing every time. No, it doesn't go like I'm picking the Dolphins over the Saints, and that's because I'm the winner. Or no, like that. It was like. Hey, I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick oh, the Seahawks. Right. Gino's the man. Like that was it. Oh. Uh, and he did that four or five times about in regards to a single person on the team. Oh, not Gino every time. No, I, I would do Gino every so, time. So two is back or something. You know, like oh, there gotcha. was nothing. So and so is going to win because two is back. Two. That's right. Gino's two is the, the man. Two is the man because Gino's Bob Greasy is coming back from retirement because he's the man. This is a man. Oh, he says hello. Um, <laughs> just... Does he say um before he does it? No, the ums have gotten down. Oh, have they? Uh, the, um, uh, the ums have been. Oh. Well, when I edit, they're, they're still there. They talk about their time, though, a lot. Oh, how long they're going? 35 minutes. 
Thirty-five. I have to keep them at bay. You know. Keep you mean them. you mean boots has to fill. Yeah, boots Phil. has to keep them rolling. You yeah, know? right. Oh. Which is pretty funny. Yeah. But the Halloween bo- party went well. Yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. How did you feel about it, Phil? I loved it. You loved it? Yeah, yeah. I think it was great. Everybody dressed up. Except for Greg. Greg. Except for Greg. Well, he came as the successful cigar owner. Why Why don't you think he just, why can't he just dress up? I don't know. I don't know. He probably thinks, I, I have no idea to tell you the truth. I don't know. He's just no fun. It's well, super frustrating. Well, his excuse was, is that he couldn't fit into any of Alex's clothes. Yeah. Well, they were going to dress as each don't other. Don't go as Alex then. <laughs> right. Buy something that looks similar to what she would wear. Right. Go to the right. thrift store and pick out an outfit. Yeah, yeah put a little thought into it. Right. It's one next door. You know, right. You could have went to Rusty's. I'm not going to lie. You, you know, might have donated to get uh, the shout out on the show. Yeah. Could have had, for three bucks, could have had a lovely dress. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a character on the Chet Palmer show, and uh, I have a dress for $3. My wife picked it out for me. From Rusty's? No, no, from uh, Goodwill. So, and I, I was willing to pay seven. It was on sale. I'm not going to lie. You know, the only reason why that we we dressed up was because you said that we had to dress up on the on the podcast. Oh, I appreciate that. So what? Well, it, it's a Halloween. So Brittany put it together. She, she's like, okay, well, we, oh, that's why you guys. She's like, so let's review. Like, what should we do? By the way, she looked great. So she's looking at it, the. It pictures. was a great combo. I think she did a fantastic job. Yeah. 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 So she said, "What should we do?" So she looked at like the plug and the. Outlet. Oh, we almost did the plug-in outlet. And, and I'm like, eh, eh, I wasn't digging it. She goes, ooh, look at this one. She goes, Rip and Beth. I, I'm like, fuck, yeah, that is perfect. Uh, you understand. And now I'm wearing boots all the time. Right. Well, they're comfortable. They are very nice. Yeah, they look yeah. a little worn in there. Yeah, but I've been uh, he kicks things around getting some reps here with them. And... You worked out at them? No, no. Oh, oh. That would be funny, though. It would be. Yeah. You should wear the whole outfit in and work out. And just go go lift? Yeah. I don't think that Rip was like a, he's you know it was one of those farm, not a workout. Well, right, but I mean, just, what's it called when you like? But really, know. the only time you can get away with it would be the week of Halloween. Yeah. So take advantage and go in and. But, but Halloween's on a Monday. So do it this this week. This is the week before mm-hmm. Halloween. This is my bye week. What does that mean? You don't work out at all? Correct. Oh, I didn't know you took bye weeks. Yep. After every eight weeks, eight to twelve weeks, depending upon what the workout is. Oh. It's called a coast should I put week. This, should I put this in my calendar just so I'm aware for next time? It's called Michael a coast week. Michael will show week. up early <laughs> for this week. Every eight to twelve weeks, Every, Michael will show up early. Mike will be here on time. On time. So yeah. Ooh, this thing needs a fan. At a cool little Halloween party. The food was great. Food was really food good. Was good. Yes. Yeah. I actually, ate some of that. Uh, if anybody would like some garlic bread, Oreo thing. The pumpkin Oreo night. thing. Yeah. Anybody wanting garlic toast? Brady's got that shit on lock. All the garlic toast for some reason. You got all the garlic toast? Uh, somehow. Yes, I have bags of it. And so you, the redneck egg rolls or whatever the fuck they were? Oh, uh, yeah. Those are pretty dope. It's like pork inside or some shit. Yep. Those are good. Yeah. Yeah, we had those uh, for our birthday. Yeah. Now we sing a lot of Oz. Right. Um, I actually had uh, leftovers for lunch today. Wait a second. You took home leftovers from the party? They didn't give you? We were forced to. Oh, you had you because we left first, I guess. No, uh, we. I thought we told you. No, we said fuck that. You guys, yeah, it. you guys ran. Oh, you guys left shit. everything. Oh, Tia wasn't gonna let us leave. Wasn't gonna let us leave. And I swear, I have two giant Ziploc bags of garlic toast. She stuck in the bag. I thought I only had one, but she stuck two. <laughs> There's two. <laughs> There's two. So I have like three or four loaves of garlic bread. No, mm. yeah, I had I, a garlic bread hamburger over the weekend. I knew mm. better. Oh, I like the garlic toast. I had to. We had to. My kids were just like fuck. They, well, they wouldn't well, give me a break. Were, they were tired. They had yeah. already hurt most of the children there at the parties. Yeah, so. yeah my, kids, my kids are trying to break out everybody else's kids. Break everybody's kids. <laughs> I bet you we can break that one. Yeah, that one looks weak. We should call that one out. Yeah. <laughs> kids are fucking No, you guys, you guys were so fast, man. You left your kids' shoes. I don't know if those you are my kids' the... shoes. I don't know. They look small. I don't know if they're my kids' shoes. I'll have to ask around. Yeah. Not my kids' shoes. They're not your kids' shoes? No, my kids' shoes are no. bigger than mine now. Fire boots? Fire department Fire boots. department? There's any fire gear? They might be your size, Paul. No, I left you my got, shoes. You got cute little short <laughs> feet. feet. I have little feet. Yes, I have yeah. little, feet. little feet. Thank you for saying they were cute. That's nice of you. Yeah, you can't even touch feet. the ground right now. BSF. Like, no, no, I could almost not Wait, touch no. the ground. S- swinging his S- feet. Swinging my feet. Like, SFP. SFP, yes. Small. <laughs> small feet palmer. Small feet palmer. Small foot. It's the next cigar that we're going to make for you. Small foot palmer. It's going to be a petito. Right. Just a little uh, 
Gordito. <laughs> little dog walker. Little Gordito thing. So what else happened? Uh, we went out a boat on Sunday. We t- uh, we went and visited our friends at, uh, where do they live, Rockledge, and then we took a boat to brunch, and then took a nice little boat ride, and then back home. Very nice. It was a nice day. The Agape, we're going to review. Uh, on the Patreon on the today. Patreon, which we actually already recorded. We already, we already recorded it. Because Phil is out and about monkey fucking around. Couldn't get him here. He missed two appointments today with the, uh, the Mike and Mike Productions. I told you to call me out. I told you it was on the computer. You could have FaceTimed me. What? Hold the phone up to me? Here, this is one of my partners. Hello. <laughs> this I really feel like this podcast has already gone well off the rails. We have a lot of Florida <laughs> stories today. Do we? Uh, well, that's yes, good. I'm glad that we're Florida. getting we're the math addicts are back and in full swing. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes. Is anything happening uh, with you with football other than... No, we had we had our we had two games. Defense, my my one two team defense is just fucking. We are on point. We were discouraging these second graders. Our first graders, they were getting. You could tell they couldn't really move the ball. I think they scored twice, if that. Nice. And, but offense, we just sputtered, man. We were a mess. And the kindergarten team, we're just lucky to get them to go in the right direction at this point. <laughs> it's like you herding know. cats. They're all new, so. That Run whole thing. that way. Everybody yeah. that way. St- you're going the wrong, wrong way. way. I scored. No, that's a safety. You went the wrong way. <laughs> Did uh, the new friend that we met at, or that I met at um, Cigars on the Ave, does he listen to the show yet? Which new? Is his name not Chris? Oh, Derek? Is his name Derek? Derek. It was Vulcanberg, by the way. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think he listens to it. No, no, yeah. Isn't that a steel that yeah. they made the claws out of? From the steel? From uh, Wolverine? No, that was Animantium. Oh, oh, that was Vulcanberg steel. No, you're thinking uh, of... Valerian steel? No, no. That's from the movie. Oh, I started to watch the season finale this morning, but I, I didn't have time. Oh, of House Targaryen? Yes, yes. I'm all caught up, buddy. Oh, did you watch even yes, yesterday's Yes, sir. Too? Doubled up. Let's go. Oh, I read all the article, set. so I know what happens already. It's a damn shame. Yeah. But it sounds, it sounds like it's a cool scene, though. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Oh, they made it sound nice. Uh, I got a lot of people texting me Saturday to see if I was working for some reason. Was there something going on or a crowd here? Were sales up really high or something? Like three or four <laughs> different people texted me to see if I was working for some reason. Oh, who? Or, I'm trying to think Saturday. Saturday. S- yeah, Saturday. That was the Halloween party. Oh, the Halloween party was Friday. Oh, was it? Saturday, uh, I went with Adrian. They had a play at the school that she had to be the administrator for. So I Saturday was busy here, I could tell you that much. Was that what it was? Uh, mm-hmm. Mark Gordon texted me. Uh, the Carbonellos oh, texted Mark Gordon, me. Mark Gordon just wanted to see if there'd be a friend. He texted me as well. Oh, he just wanted to see if it was a He was coming up for He said, game. yeah, I'm coming up for the game. Just wanted yeah. to know if someone was there. And then what else? Uh, the Carbonells, people that Adrian's friends with, they mm-hmm. texted to see if I was working. Somebody else, too. I don't remember who the other one was. You're kind of a big deal. Uh, but I but I don't normally work on Saturdays. It just sort of, and then it was so hey, many. I mean, it was no. three. Yeah, no, so. no. But it was a good. It was a good Saturday. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, the new girl worked Saturday. Kayla. Did she? I think so. Didn't she? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I assumed that's why she was here. I know she was here Friday. I know she's here Friday because she came in as I was leaving. I think that Brandon was solo on Saturday. So she only worked Fridays. I think so. Oh. Yeah, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I asked upstairs before I came down here. Oh, there oh. you go. Tuesday, wow, that's a hell of Wednesday, a shift. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday s- Friday. Friday. Yeah. So she doesn't work Saturdays either? No, because she works at the other place. Ah, I got you. That's one of the days she works there. Ah. All right. Oh, that doesn't really help much. Well, there you go. Yeah, it doesn't. No. Oh. We'll you, don't, you don't need two people on a Tuesday. Let's I see how it Granted, she's training. Let's see how it plays out. You guys, uh, you, you should put a picture of of Greg's costume with his significant other. I don't, I don't have it. I I, I can give you one. Oh, oh, it's oh, right, it's the, right here. Yep, at fourteen forty. <laughs> Perfect. So a picture of Greg and what his son would look like. What his yes. son? Yes, if Greg had a son, that's what he would look. Like. <laughs> All right. All right. We're gonna just roll into the news. Uh-huh. All right. From the four corners of the world, all the cigar industry news you could possibly need. The Cigar Hustler Podcast Report with Mike Two. 
West Ham Tobago Company has distribution in Austria and Switzerland. We don't care. Really. Interesting. Uh, Lambert adds distribution in the Netherlands. Again, we really don't care. No. Cigar Cigar Kings adds distribution for Belgium and Luxembourg. We don't really care about that either. So, I don't know. It was a big week for people adding international distribution. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. It seems kind of odd, man. You know, like, I don't even know the other two brands. Lambert and Cigar Kings? Lambert adds, yeah, Lambert. Don't know what that. do they make? Cigars. Oh, but I'm... Tss. But I'm... Psh, it's a cigar show, Michael. That's what we talk about. But, like, West Ham was brand new. I don't read the articles until I do it on the air. West and I only took the titles for these, so... But, oh, you didn't get into it. No, I didn't really care. It just, it so, like... Weird. There were so many. So, West Tampa... West Tampa... They was, just started their brand. Just started, yes. They can keep up with demand so well... That they are now but shipping already expanding. to Austria and Switzerland. Interesting. Yes. I have questions. Lambert is in the Netherlands. Uh, we do have one complete distribution story, but it's about U.S. distribution. Oh, okay. All right. Drew State adds Deadwood, the girl with no name, as Cigars International exclusive. Oh, no. Here Drew, we go. Drew State expanding its popular Deadwood line with a new 6x52 Toro size that will be exclusive to Cigars International. The Deadwood, the girl with no name, Toro, is a 6x52 Toro. Like the other sizes in Deadwood line, Drew Estate does not disclose the blend. It's pipe tobacco, man. It is. Yes, it's pipe tobacco. Don't tell anybody. No, it's a secret. <laughs> uh, but it uses a Maduro wrapper and it's aromatic and You're a exotic. really funny hot dog. You know that? Thank you very much. <laughs> exotic blend of aged, dark-aired cured tobaccos in the filler. Or pipe tobacco. Pipe tobacco. Pipe. The Deadwood line originally began as an exclusive to Deadwood Tobacco Company retailer in Deadwood, South Dakota, located near Sturgis, home of the popular motorcycle rally. Mm. Has an MSRP of $10 per cigar and sold in boxes of $20 or $200. <laughs> it's a good deal. You buy today. That's not in this story, but I'm assuming it's oh. 10 for 20 so I'm doing Did you watch the UFC fights? I did. Where the fuck did you watch the UFC fights? On my phone when I figured out that it was going on during the daytime. Oh also. my god! Where? But you didn't you have to do something with your son? Uh, um, how much is known about any of the wild rebellion? <laughs> We've already passed that part of the show, dude. My boy Sean O'Malley won it in the cards, baby. So I didn't even get to see. I oh, now he's hitting buttons. Oh, I only got to see the last fight. The Oliveira fight. It was good too. Oh, Michael Maggie. Joseph, fucking there. Burn you with my smoke. <sighs> Makachev was fucking on point. Yeah. No one's going to take the title from that guy. No. No. Is he the brother of... Uh, no. Kobe? Oh. No, he's just good friends of Kobe. Who's number one? A cigar hustler? The yeah. podcast? Not anymore because the show's all fucked up. No. Okay. <clears throat> so, you know what? Do you? Is he going like, yeah, fuck, mm, fuck those guys. guys. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Continue with your fucking news. Uh, not much you known, known about... Bastard. No, no. Really? I, I can't go now? The founder of Deadwood Tobacco Company in a press release fight between those suddenly really appeared on a dusty street to Deadwood, seemingly out of the either slowly riding her husky black stallion. To, what the hell is this? A go on sale cigars international, both in the company's eight stores and through its website and catalog channels on November 1st, starting January. What? Channels on November 1st, starting January 1st, will be offered through cigars.com and Thompson Cigar, both of which operated by Cigars International. Aha. The Oliva Advent Calendar 2022 arrives in stores. Now, the reason I pulled this story, Michael, we should do an Advent Calendar here. Like make our own? Pick 25 cigars. Yeah. And you sell it as uh, the uh, Cigar Hustler Advent Calendar. And then hide them? No, no, no. Because well, smoking does that. Sell it online. I know. People do it. We could do it here. 25 cigars picked by Cigar Hustler. And but you got to you gotta have that shit built beforehand. Oh, we can. We got cigars upstairs. Just no, like the advent calendar, you have to have it. No, made. no, no. They, you don't get anything to put them in. They just get the twenty-five cigars. Oh, twenty-five cigar bundle or package or assortment, oh. whatever you want to call it, and call it the Cigar Hustler Christmas Advent Calendar. That kind of takes the surprise out of it, though. No, you buy like it as a gift point. for someone else. But the whole point is to be, we take like, all the bands off. What if? Uh, and then we give them an envelope, twenty-five envelope. This is a terrible idea. Twenty-five envelope. <laughs> I'm making this up as I go, Michael. I'm doing this on a fly. <laughs> what if you just release one on the online store each day that they buy? Oh, each each week. Yeah, yeah each day will be a day, won't it? Yeah. Oh, you probably should do weekly. It'd be hard to ship and get them out in time. So you could mm. do you do five a week, seven a week, I guess. I'll get right on it. 
You're not going to do it. <laughs> you don't do any of my ideas. For the second year in a row, Oliva has created an advent calendar full of cigars because it's a great idea and they sell all the time. <laughs> Earlier this month, the Oliva advent calendar 2022 began shipping to stores to get out before the cigar hustler advent calendar that the BDP thought of. <laughs> the year's calendar contains 25 cigars not as good as the cigar hustler, but <laughs> most of which are regular production offerings through four of them are not regularly sold by Oliva. Oh. Like last year, the list of cigars spans different brands within Oliva's largest por- large portfolio. Inside each calendar is one of the following. We're not going Florida through Florida Oliva. We're not going through all this. <laughs> We're not, there's 25 of them. We're not going through all this. But there's 25 of them. Yes, yes. Tatuaji has one, too. Cane Daytona, Cane F, Cane Habano, Cane Madero, Nub Cameroon, Nub Connecticut, Nub... Basically, it's all 25 cigars that they make. Right. In addition, there's also a torch lighter included with each sampler. Each calendar oh. is MSRP of $220. Wow. For 25 cigars? Yes. We could do that. Sure. You're not going to do it. You know, we're doing it. Advent calendar, Christmas tradition where treats, oftentimes candy, are placed inside the a package all? that has 25 numbers. Like he never switches the camera. I, I told you. you. I know. He's been, if like, we give him a camera, it's going to be on him the Like whole the time. last camera, you know, bad reviews on the last video footage, bro. Yeah, we got complaints. Mm-hmm. The angles, the the non-switching, it was terrible. Yeah, you, you want me to just leave it on you the whole time? You really, you really kind of fucking half-assed it. You, did, you go to two now. You're in two. When I, when I do it for someone else's show... I make I face away from the show. Ah. So then you have to watch the screen. Oh, that's a great idea. Turn around. Look away. Don't look at me, Phil. I face the other direction. That look, way you have to watch the I'm not the even iPad. in this room. I'm in the production room. Look away. Well, that might be where you're going to be next week. <laughs> We're going to run the cords through the door and then set your camera out that's there. Awesome. Still, that's a great idea. We'll be looking at these going, there's no red light on any of these cameras. <laughs> we'll go out there. He's sleeping. He's like <laughs> up against the camera. Right. No, I did it. I did it. Viaje announces new peppers release, return of skull and bones, and a mystery cigar. Yes, sir. They're upstairs. This week, I had to change that because the story came out last week. Viaje will be shipping a pair of new releases to retailers, a newest edition of the skull and bones mystery, and a new peppers release that appears to be the return of GP 10.31. In a rare occurrence, we have them now at CigarHustler.com. Did we get that up today? We did. No, they're almost up. They're going to be up in a little bit. In a rare occurrence, we'll have them up tomorrow, uh, right after the story broke. By the time this is released, they'll be probably, oh, so they'll probably be gone. As a rare occurrence, we have these up on the website. They're probably gone. A spokesman for the company declined to disclose any information about the two releases or how Cigar Hustler got them early. I love the fact that nobody tells them. Saying mm-hmm. that all stays a mystery until the shipments arrive at retail. The cigars are scheduled to ship to stores on October 17th, which was last week, according to a comment made by on Instagram <laughs> by the company. I can't help but these quotes are a week late, Michael. Don't my fault. Skull and Bone lines dated back to May 2010 and debuted with the Daisy Cutter. The second release was simply known as the question mark and a predecessor of the M question mark story line, mystery line. Since it debuted, the mystery has appeared 11 times in a number of sizes with evolving designs of its logo. You know, it's actually a, a great idea. That way you don't even, you can put whatever cigar you want in it. What can it be? It's a mystery. You don't even know if, like, if we both had our own shop, if my mystery cigar is the same as your mystery cigar. Could be a totally different mystery. Could go completely different mystery. <laughs> we're out of mystery cigars. No, we're not. Just something over there. Get yeah, that one. Look, that is a mystery. That's a mystery. We don't know what it is. Question mark. Question mark. This year's release has an MSRP of $11.52 per cigar. We'll come in boxes of 25 mm. It is box pressed. Oh, so it has to be box pressed. That's not a mystery. Oh, yeah. As for the new Pepper series release, the company included an icon of a ghost in the announcement, and the box design features the same ghost image that was used on the Viaje GP1031, which was released in October of 2017 as part of the company's White Label project. White Label. Mm-hmm. Racist. Racist people, mm-hmm. allegedly. And the announcement was the cigar <laughs> on social media. The company said that these peppers are most recent uh, graduate receiving their own proper banding. What? They graduated? Do we think Do we think that how about that cigar stole our disclaimer? Oh, yeah, yes. Do we listen to Luciano? Luciano. I feel like there's... It was very, very similar. Very, 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 very similar. similar. I think they probably covered the 20% that you're supposed to change. Yeah. Control, but we should still send them a cease and desist letter. I think we should send them a cease and desist. Yes. And uh, sue them for damages. They demand reparations. Reparations. Can you do a live one? <laughs> If they would like to have us on the show, we will do one. On we the would show. Like to, yeah, we'd talk about You can that. talk to our lawyer on the show. <laughs> we discuss that <laughs> with Phil, our lawyer. I mean, when you're number one, you know, I guess everybody emulates That's you. Right. You know? That's right. You know, people one. used to make fun of us for having the disclaimer. Yeah. 
Remember that? People, you guys really think you need a disclaimer? You really think you need a disclaimer? Have you heard our show? Yes. Yeah, you listen to the shit that we say? <laughs> we have to say Of so. course. We have to protect our production company and our advertisers. Yeah. I mean, but you can sue us if you want. You're not getting anything. Not getting our pants. Not getting our pants. I hide them when the other shows are here. We hide the pants. We hide the pants. We're still waiting on some pots. Uh, there are two cigars shipping to storage. The Ghost Pepper is a four and seven eighths by fifty nine eighty four, and a Ghost Pepper Large. Oh, small Ghost large, Pepper yeah. Small and Large. Yes, five and three sixteenths by fifty five. That's weird. Three sixteenths. Yeah, Both cigars will come in boxes of 20. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Viaje Pepper Series dates back to 2015 when Michael still didn't answer their emails and get them on time. That's right. Uh, thus far, the line includes the uh, Jalapeno, the Ghost Pepper, <laughs> the Carolina Reaper, and the Scotch Boner. Oh, Bonnet, sorry. Boner? Uh, scotch Boner. That's what Greg gets when he drinks Scotch. Oh. Alex, Scotch Boner time. Oh, that was whiskey dick. No, no, he doesn't drink whiskey. He drinks Scotch. Scotch whiskey. Yeah, but he likes saying Scotch, though. He doesn't like calling it whiskey. Uh, scotch. As well as a line extension of thicker versions called the Fat Scott. Jalapeno, the Fat Carolina Reaper, and the Fat Purple Jalapeno. And it's PH80, Mike. Like, you know, it's the cool yeah. guys say. Fat. Gotcha. Like, man, this is fat. Not nice. like people say about Phil. Right. Not F80. Wow, Phil. Oh, no more cameras for me the rest <laughs> of the night. <laughs> oh, <Phil. laughs> AJ Fernandez gives San Latano updated packaging. Oh. Yeah, we have the same cigar. We're just changing the box. Is that still, is that still around? <laughs> well, it's got a brand new box. I had no idea. AJ Fernandez's San Latano line to get in a new look as the company announced on Tuesday that we have all these cigars and nothing to put them in. Camera one. The fours. What? Nope. I called him. I called him. <laughs> I meant you were cool, Phil. Like, man, he's uh, fat. Well, yeah. I'm sure. Uh. The four San Latano lines are moving from the rather plain boxes that they had before <laughs> to ones that use the design currently found in the San Latano brands. Those brands are remaining the same as the blends. Oh, the cigar's the same. Yeah. We have these. New go. stickers. You're right. New stickers. New boxes. The boxes will share the same design, but will be offered in different colors. Oh, they still own I feel like the, the answer to that... Uh, that headline should be, San Latano gets a new brand. Yes, it's still around. Oh. San no Latano was offered in four blends. The one we made before, the one we made then, and the one we used to make, and then this one that we still have. <laughs> Christoph's PCA 2022 Signature Series and Guardrail arrives in stores right in time to still qualify them for 2022. December 31st. Two of the new brands Crystal unveiled at the 2022 PCA Convention Trade Show back in July have begun arriving in store sh- store arriving on store shelves. The Crystal PCA 2022 Signature Series and Crystal Guardrail, uh, Guardrail, Guardrail. Where'd the Guardrail go? Crystal Guardrail, the Crystal Signature Series Limited Edition, 750 boxes of 20 cigars. So since July, they couldn't make 750 cigars. I didn't even realize they were at the show. Oh, I didn't see them either. Yeah, you're right. Must have missed them. Maybe they just made them for the show, but didn't go to the show. Maybe they were there and we just didn't see them. Could be. We saw the drunken chicken. I'm thinking I saw the sun, but he had different hair now than when when we. There's a sun. Yeah, he was on the show. That's Perdomo. No, no, no. We've done several suns, Michael. He's not the only. Christoph's son. Yes. We've never had him on the show. No. We've had the sun on the show. Really? Yes. You sure? Yep. No, it was. He's not the sun. You're talking about the national sales rep? No, no, no. No, no. The Boston guy. He's not the son? He's not the son. That explains why he looks nothing like Mr. Mr. Case at all. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Uh, You're a mess. Oh, Glenn Case was in a motorcycle accident. Uh-oh. While in Oklahoma for an event, the company kept news of the crash under wraps still unveiling the cigar. Oh, he named the guardrail. Oh, he hit a guardrail oh, with his motorcycle. Oh. oh. Good thing he didn't hit a Plymouth or something. It'd be called the Plymouth. Alligator. Oh, alligator. Yeah. There's alligator. an alligator found in Ohio today. Ran out in front of him. They don't know where it came from. Yeah, somebody's house. Right, but they found it. It's a little alligator. It's, only it's a baby. baby alligator. So they put it in the toilet and, whoosh, and then it run around. You think Ohio. so? I think so. It's not going to last long in Ohio. No, that's why they find it now. It's going to freeze. Right. Uh, Case tells a story. He was going about 65 miles per hour around a curve when the back tire gave way, causing the bike to crash into a guardrail. The mm. crash led to an extensive series of injuries that landed him in the hospital for eight days, followed by... Followed by time in a wheelchair and ongoing physical therapy. Now the event and subsequent road recovery has turned the accident into the inspiration for a new line with the band incorporating a guard guardian angel theme. Oh. The blend uses a Brazilian rapper, Dominican binder, fillers from the Dominican Republic, and Zimbabwe. Oh. 
All the good cigars come from Zimbabwe now. The latter of which is not well known for producing premium tobacco. Oh, well, or maybe they're not. That's not where all the good tobacco Maybe not, yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not. Case declined to go into much of the way of specifics other than to say he was excited to utilize the tobacco and his new cigar that he got a deal on. <laughs> the Christophe guardrail is offered in three sizes. The guardrail Robusto, the guardrail Churchill, and the guardrail Matador. Six and a half by 56. What shape is a Matador? Six and a half by 56. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Both cigars are produced at the Charles Fairmont factory in the Dominican Republic. Well, that's a very unusual Dominican name. I have the Tabla Calera, whatever. Is that just Don Puro fucking... Yeah, Don Puro, yeah. Tabla Calero, Charles Fermonte Factore. Oh, is that Luciano's new factory? No. <laughs> that would be called Luciano Factory. Oh. As he names everything after himself. <laughs> the snake was discovered on a United flight from Florida to New Jersey, Michael. Oh, you're already in the Florida story? Yes, snake on a plane. Oh, what's okay. that going on? Oh, we're only 30 minutes. It's going to be a short one. I have a page and a half of content left, Michael. <laughs> A snake was discovered Monday on board a United Airlines passenger flight from Tampa Bay, Florida to Newark, New Jersey, officials mm. said. The non-venomous snake was removed from the plane by airport staff after the flight landed in Newark. United confirmed to CBS News that after being alerted, in parentheses, to the presence of the snake by passengers, the crew called the appropriate authorities to take care of the situation. What do you call when you find a snake on a plane? Animal catchers. Do they have those in New Jersey, though? I mean, we have them here, obviously. We probably have fish and wildlife. Hmm. Yeah. It's unclear exactly when the snake was spotted. Oh, when the United Flight 2038 landed in Newark Liberty National Airport at 1.15 p.m. local time, workers with the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, as well as the airport's wildlife operations staff, boarded the plane. a lot of people to find one snake. Boarded the plane, removed the snake. The Port <laughs> Authority. A lot of paychecks. A lot of paychecks. The Port Authority told CBS News in a statement there was no reported injuries and that they were tired of all these motherfucking snakes and all these motherfucking planes. <laughs> Makes sense. Yes. Marijuana is coming to Circle K gas stations too, Michael. Here? Here in Florida. Really? Floridians will soon be able to buy marijuana products along with cigarettes and snacks at Circle K gas stations. Really? Well, that's where all the snacks are. Why wouldn't you want to get the stuff that makes you want? Brilliant. That's brilliant. Whoever the fuck figured that out. According to Green Thumb Industry, okay. apparently they thought of it, the largest U.S. cannabis producer under a new partnership between the companies started next year, weed will be sold in 10 Rise Express dispensaries with separate entrances from the gas stations. Oh, oh they're linking up. They're, yeah, it's like when they put the restaurant next door. Yeah. It's like probably the, the you, ones you with like subs. the subways and yeah, stuff yeah. don't work well. Oh, you right. want, yeah, you know how you wanted to get your sub. Now uh, you can get your you weed. You get your Mary John and your weed next day. Mary Jane, not Mary John. That's different. Mary John? Completely different stuff. Yeah. Though so you don't want Mary John. <laughs> you ask for Mary Jane and they give you Mary John. A little stronger, a little not. firmer. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Right, a little, little bigger. A little bigger. Um, let's see. Interesting. Chicago based Green Thumb announced Wednesday among the products that will be sell are marijuana flour, marijuana pre rolls, marijuana gummies, marijuana vapes, which Green Thumb will supply from a 28 acre facility the company is building in Ocala, Florida. Oh, that's slated to be up and running by the end of 2022. But we're still medicinal, right? We're not full retail. No, I guess you would have to have a card. Yeah, you got a medical card, right? Hmm. You can get a full tank of gas and. See a doctor. <laughs> well, you have to have a card before you go in. Is that how that works? I don't think they supply the card. I thought that you can get it. You could. They have doctors there usually. Like oh, do they? The person that you get on the phone with. I've been in. Are you stressed? Yes. Uh, Perfect. Here's your card. Here's your card. Right. Can you not sleep? Then fine. Here's another card. Here's some more. Here. Want some more cards? You have any anxiety? How many cards you want? We got all the cards. Here. Give me a card. <laughs> give the dog a card. Give, give the, the goldfish a card. card. Uh, the goldfish we, has anxiety. It keeps going in circles. Oh, yeah. The results of the floor of this year's Florida Python Challenger in Michael. Yeah. Well, it's probably lower because that one got away on the plane. So. That's where, well, that wasn't a python. It said it was uh, non-poisonous. They didn't non specify yeah. pythons aren't venomous. It's true. They're constrictors. They are. Yes. You think it was somebody's pet? It just got away on the airplane. Yeah. They took it on the plane and they lost it and they're like, hmm, I don't know where it happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Billy, where's your snake? I lost it, mommy. The snake, the snake is gone. What do you mean you lost it? I, it's not in my pocket. <laughs> We got to go. Okay, don't say anything. Just get off the plane. It's gone forever. Totally. Oh, wait, they found it during the plane. I mean, how much could have gone on? Yeah. It, it, has, had, to, it, it had, had to be in a bag, a suitcase. Somebody had to bring it on. Yeah. I'm going to catch a bunch of those lizards and put them on the plane. Service animal? The little service, service animal snake. It's my anxiety snake. It's my anxiety snake. It hugs me. Okay, uh, the 2022 Florida Python Challenge are in. Okay, yeah. That's a thing where in Florida they had this python thing every year because it's not an indigenous species yeah. and it's killing things in the swamps. In the Everglades. In yeah. the Everglades, yes. Mm -hmm. So you can go down there and hunt them. They have open hunting season. Yes. And there's a contest each year. 
You wanna, what, what do you think was the most pythons? Who had the most? Yes, the man won $10,000. The most was probably 80 pythons. Why do you always get so high? It's only 28. Uh, <laughs> okay. You ruin everything. I'm sorry. Rip. All right, how many think they caught total over the 10 days? 90. Now you guess really low. Yeah, he told me to guess. Yeah, that's exactly it. You fucking, <sighs> you ruined it. 231 Burmese pythons during a 10-day competition. Wow. Challenge was created to increase awareness about the invasive species and the threats it poses to Florida's ecology. There you go. Person who removed the most pythons was 28. He won $10,000. And the person who walked away the with biggest? the biggest. 25-footer. 11 feet, Michael. <laughs> just 11. He's, he has good. literally left the camera on you the rest of the show. No, he hasn't. <laughs> I was just on there briefly. Oh. All right, that's all I got. That's it. That's all you have? Yeah, we're 36 minutes. This is the uh, compact show. We can talk more about Phil's party. Now you can nah. just talk about the MMA if you want to. No. You wanted to sit here for 30 minutes with your outfit on and chew a... Uh, toothpick? <laughs> chew a toothpick. That's it. That's all I got. I feel kind of stiff in this anyway, so... I'm really sweaty underneath my section. So, hey, it's a, uh, you know. There's a big uh, big event coming up. The Drew Estate event? Oh, the Drew Estate Smashing Pumpkins? That's right. Yeah. Uh, is it this week or next week? Uh, uh, when it's is this it? week. It's oh, it's just Friday. Yeah. Is it this Friday? Yep. Uh, today is the 24th. So, yeah, it's just Friday. Holy shit. Oh. You know, last month on this date, Phil was our birthday. Oh. So there's that. What are we doing? Are we having an event today? <laughs> What'd you get me for your birthday? It's our eleventh, uh, our one month birthday. <laughs> oh, so we should celebrate. I'm fifty five in a month. If anybody would like to send anything in, please contact Mike at Mike and Mike Productions dot com. Exactly. Or if you want to place an ad. <laughs> do we? Don't we? Do we have what? I thought we had something coming up with that. With no? what? With our birthday? No, no. It's next year. The the ad then yeah November first November first oh, starts November first yeah we have a new advertiser on November first we do yes mm. we already took his that's money. right <laughs> he has to advertise now set for a year there's no way back oh that's right a year contract there'll be no mercy all right it's been episode uh, two hundred and fifty one and a half because it's not a whole episode <laughs> two hundred fifty it's a whole episode two hundred fifty and a half it's a little short that's all it's okay. I'll add uh, some kind of weird video at the end of it. You doing the right. advent? Are we doing the advent count? Cal- oh, yeah, we're getting right on that. <laughs> Jump right on that. Rip. Rip's getting right at it. Yep. As soon as he runs in bikers off that are upstairs. That's right. All right. Say bye. All right. Bye, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Bye. bye. A Cigar Hustlers podcast, its owners and its sponsors take no responsibility for the opinions or statements made by the talk show host or their guests. Statements or show topics are not necessarily the beliefs of Mike and Mike Productions or the podcast providers, and opinions between talk show hosts may differ. It is not our intention to libel, incite, or hurt anyone's feelings. We invite you to write the show's host, Mike Stepankevich, with any feedback or suggestions that you have for their shows. These broadcasts are presented and made public as entertainment in the hope that they will be entertaining to the audience.